the sun a giant nuclear furnace that is 93 million miles away producing heat and light wrong the sun is close and local and it's true that the sun produces light however the sun itself is not hot the sun produces heat but not the way that you think it does this website is called cool cosmos and it's from caltech like most of mainstream science there's so much wrong with this article almost every sentence in this part paragraph is wrong so let's quickly go through the article the sun is a star wrong if mainstream science doesn't know the difference between our sun and the stars then there is not much hope in our learned friends the scientists our sun is unique nothing else has the same properties as our sun stars on the other hand are really tiny compared to the sun stars have electromagnetic charges going through them they are being charged and this charge produces starlight you can see this effect when you zoom in on a star all stars are have different colors shapes and sizes it is a huge spinning glowing sphere of hot gas wrong the sun is not as big as they claim it is because the sun is in our atmosphere plane it is close and local the sun is actually a spinning glowing sphere of plasma the sun is just like the stars you see in the night sky wrong see my previous answers it appears so much larger and brighter than the other stars because we are so close to it wrong i know that you are saying that the sun is only 93 million miles away compared to the other stars which are light years away no both the sun and all the stars are within our atmosphere plane and close they are in the sky the sun is the center of our solar system and contain most of the mass in the solar system wrong there is no solar system the heliocentric model is just a model that was created by Nicolaus Copernicus and we've been living on it ever since the sun is above us in the sky it travels from east to west on a daily basis the earth is an enclosed system and all luminaries are within the container all of the planets in our solar system including earth orbit around the sun wrong as mentioned in a about a minute ago the there is no solar system planets are not planets they are wandering stars meaning they do not have a regular orbit the sun travels around the earth not the other way around so it looks like our friends from caltech are completely wrong about the sun they don't have a clue what the sun is the men in white coats 
give us this cartoon as an example of the layers of the atmosphere or rather the atmosphere plane there is so much wrong with it for example look at the temperature gradient as you rise in elevation the temperature reaches zero then goes below minus 85 degrees centigrade then all of a sudden it magically rises to 200 2000 degrees centigrade in the exosphere there is absolutely no evidence for this they just made it up because they felt like it nobody can prove those kind of temperatures at elevation the hottest temperatures ever recorded are at places like Death Valley, California, the Sub-Sahara region, North Africa, Kuwait, Iran, etc. That is because the sun is directly overhead over the Tropic of Cancer during the summer solstice. And likewise, during the winter solstice, the sun is directly over the Tropic of Capricorn and places like Australia, South Africa and South America receives the hottest temperatures. This proves that the sun moves between the tropics and this is one of the major reasons that we have seasons. The sun itself is not hot. I repeat, the sun itself is not hot. The sun is within our atmosphere plane. It is close and local. Now I will explain how the sun generates heat. The sun produces electromagnetic radiation. The sun rays are in fact this radiation. On Earth, we have a thinner atmosphere plane at height, at elevation, containing less denser gases such as the noble gases. At ground level, we have much denser gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc, etc, etc. So the sun charges the ions in these dense gases and the electrical charge from the sun generates heat. This is the major reason that the temperature is much colder at height. If the sun itself was hot, then the opposite would be true. The density of the different gases also explain the pressure gradient system. According to our friend Wikipedia, the current official highest registered air temperature on Earth is 56.7 degrees centigrade, which is 134.1 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded on 10th July 1913 at Furnace Creek Ranch in Death Valley in the United States. So the highest temperature the sun can generate is around 60 degrees centigrade. So once again I repeat, the sun is not hot. Thank you.